Howdy, this is John. Thought I'd share with you my experience with this wettable type of mycorrhiza fungus. Uh, you know, mycorrhiza is really great. I've been using it for a while, but you can only use it transplant usually. You got kind of these little granular things that stick all over. And, uh, and this has got like six different type of fungus in it. I think there's both the ecto and the endo type of fungus. For this, you put three of these scoops per 10 gallons. So we put 30 gallons worth here and then you just bucket it out, mix it up a bit. And I'm doing this one handed here. And then you go ahead and put it on all of your plants. You just drench the soil with it. Let it flood the soil, let it go through. And these little bacteria will wake up. They'll go into the roots, like put little hypodermics in there and they'll hook up with the roots and give the roots the nutrients that they will need and and help the plants out so here i'm putting in some of our nursery plants lettuce melons it's said to work for almost every type plant except for some of the cold crops brassicas and such but here we're trying to not miss any of the pots, although I see now that I missed one. It's no big deal. What it's going to do is, is the filaments, the mycorrhizal filaments, which are microscopic, they can reach into pores and bits of the soil that the big giant roots are like the size of a human hair can't reach to and the fungus cannot create sugars so the plant will exchange the nutrients it needs at the time with the fungus and and give it sugars that the fungus can grow better so everything grows a bit better but the beauty of this is the plant decides what it needs it tells the mycorrhiza i need nitrogen right now or i need phosphorus and this really reduces your fertilizing requirements you don't have to do all that thinking and planning. So here I'm drenching on fig trees. I'm putting it on raspberries. I'm putting it on blackberries. Just let it get into that soil around the roots. It has to make root contact. That's why using the regular little crystals and stuff doesn't work. With this, you just mix it right into that water and let it drench through the soil. Put it on your strawberries. They're gonna get what they need when they need it. And they're part of the garden. I decide I need to make more. So we make another batch. One big scoop like that per 10 gallons. So that's 30 gallons or so in a trash can like this. I wanted to make sure I put it on all of the fruit trees too, because uh, this stuff can extend the reach of your roots by like a, a factor of seven, eight, nine. The reach of the, the mycorrhiza is so much further than the roots themselves can go. It can even pull water to the plants. So this can reduce water use. It can reduce fertilizer use and, and it can reduce a lot of the headache associated with what fertilizer do I put down when. If you've got good living soil that's full of everything that plants need, they're going to get the help they need when they need it. It won't be over fertilized. It won't be under fertilized. Well, thank you much, folks. Click like and subscribe. See you around now. Bye.